Incoming transmission. Greetings, folks. Irish Trekkie back another Star Trek, the official Starship's collection review. And we have another special issue and another space station. We have the space dock, Earth space dock. Uh, the iconic space station from the big screen and small. And I'm really looking forward to reviewing this on the channel. I missed this the first time around and I have had my finger on the pulse to get my uh, very own version of this. And thanks to everyone that reached out ever since this first became available to kind of lend me theirs for a review or keeping me out for, you know, uh, versions of it available as well. But um, yeah, it came back into stock for those following me on YouTube and elsewhere. Um, I let it be known that it was and I know a few of you picked it up as well which is great and uh yeah so here we are uh big shout out to our friends over at here collector eagle moss um sent this over gives me the opportunity to do a review for you fine folks but again remember my thoughts and opinions are my own and if you want to learn about the collection there is an unaffiliated link down below where you can find out about the various collections that here collector eagle moss do and do check out the playlists for all of the reviews that we've done since 2013 could you believe but um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. We have a pretty decent sized box here featuring the space dock itself and we have a magazine. So we're gonna check out both these. So let's put the magazine to one side and uh, we'll check out what's inside here. So again, I've teased some pictures off this already. And this has been out for a while, but uh, yes, we have it. <laughs> ah, um, 3392A slash C. So is this the third one? Something's jumping there behind me. And um, yeah. And someone near me is doing some DIY incessantly. So I hope the noise does not translate through and make a hames of uh, your enjoyment here. Uh, we have our mounting, which is very, very similar to the regular one station that we've had. More circular to take advantage of the circular vibe of our, our uh, Earth space dock. But again, the principle remains the same. So we have that wedged in there. And then we have our space dock. It's like die cast plastic here. So kind of die cast core. And uh, oh, look at all that Azteking in detailing in there as well so this gigantic behemoth that is the earth space dock so let's get this box to one side and uh, we'll check out the detail in here as well so this will be hard to get in screen in one shot without it being too too far away i kind of have to go back here to have a look at it um so again the weight is around the core here versus anywhere else but let's kind of get some close-ups of the top hub a little bit just askew there, but you could probably fix that back in, but it's not too bad actually. So we have our main Starship hub here with our entry doors, so 21, 15, 28 and 7. Alignment looks pretty okay, you can see some of the Aztec detail has bled into the 7 and 28 doors. Actually, kind of, yeah, it's on all of the doors there as well. Windows aren't too bad. And then you have some kind of dark grey and red pinstriping. With some blue detailing along there as well. So at a distance. Looks pretty nice. A little bit of a drift on the paint apps. But the sculpt is nice. We have a little bit of window detailing just on the top edge. But I think that's kind of drifted down. But nothing around the outer edge. Ventral section. We have a kind of blue plastic insert here for the kind of underneath the, the hood of the mushroom. And again, there is sculpt along here as well and the seam is hidden very nicely. And a whole heap of tiny, tiny windows. This is a huge station, obviously. A little bit of a drift, I think, in the paint there as well. Not too, too bad. Gets a little bit clunky over here, I will admit though. Which is a bit of a shame, but where it is, it's kind of hidden a little bit. And again, we have our detail on our ventral section. And some good sculpt, actually. 
paint doesn't look too bad. We've got more S teching and more S teching down the kind of stork or trunk of it. I don't know what the official term would be for that down the main body. And then we have a sphere then at the end. So again, seems nicely hidden. Paint looks pretty decent. Our red pinstripe and then we have our ventral antenna hub down at the aft side there as well. So that's really nice. I do like it. Again, it's just so iconic and it's, you know, it's a decent size. Not too small, but not too big. So very well displayable. And I like that plastic insert underneath the kind of hood of the mushroom. That could have been painted as well, but it does look much nicer. It does look like there is, I don't know if there's a fade on it or if there's a paint underneath it, but it kind of has a bit of a gradient there as well to kind of being clear blue to a darker hue, which is cool. So that's nice. And again, top down. It's just, for me, it's just so iconic. You know, big, huge, you know, center of the Federation. Earth space dock. And the tiny little enterprise is coming and going. And we got to see some interesting ships inside as well. So cool. Let's check her out in the stand. And uh, we'll have a look at the magazine. And then we'll wrap up with some uh, final thoughts. So folks, here we have Earth Space Dock, um, our little rotating stand. Um, it was a little bit funky there a while ago. I had to replace the batteries for the first time in I don't know how long, but uh, nice to see the space mushroom rotate on screen. Um, as I probably mentioned several times in the video, uh, I've been waiting for this for so long. I missed this the first time around. Um, you know, for those that have been collecting all of these ships it, it's a it's a it's an investment and <laughs> sometimes you can't um pick them up when you want them but um it's great that uh, models like this come back in stock from time to time so keep your eye on the stores and uh you never know something that's been out of stock for a while will hopefully come back in stock for you to pick up um but yeah this is just it's just uh, for me it's like the iconic space station in star trek you know earth space dock the mushroom i just love the design of it the absolute gigantic nature of it and again like we've seen the enterprise uh in different uh, letter variations you know fly in to the dock and ports as well but like there's no escape it this is a massive massive station and uh, i just loved seeing her on the big screen and the small um as well and uh, just so happy to have it in the collection um i think egan must have done a great job some of the paint apps do go out of alignment uh here and there but listen i think we've come to uh, expect the production drift from time to time as well but um yeah the closest thing i had to this was the micro machines version of the earth space stock i believe i had a micro machines version of that but um pales in comparison in both detail and size to the Eagle Moss version of it as well. So uh, this is awesome. And again, it's mounted very similar to uh, the regular one station that uh, we've recently reviewed on the channel as well. But um, let's see what goodies lay inside the magazine and uh, we'll do a wrap up on our final thoughts. All right, folks, so let's check out the magazine. So build 2250s, type space station, location earth orbit and height over three miles so we check out what goodies lay inside the magazine so we have two sections profile of the space dock and how to make a vintage port and um, pretty much everything else is the same so we have some close-up shots of the station our mounting instructions and uh, yeah everything you would expect in a hero collector magazine so High above Earth, the sight of space docks opening doors marked the start and end of many a Starfleet mission. A vast orbital platform visible from the planet below, space dock is the most impressive of the various Starfleet facilities circling Earth. Its mushroom-shaped upper section is an enormous sheltered dock for starships up to Excelsior class sizes. So yeah, imagine, imagine what this would have looked like 
from uh, the surface of Earth. Crazy. Here we have some concept art, which is awesome. And you kind of getting some uh, scaling here with the constitution type of vessel here. NC7011S and some kind of open docking on the side there as well. So introduced in Star Trek 3, Earth's vast orbital space dock became an instant fan favorite that would feature in four big screen adventures. So this is the ILM concept art here. Um, shows space dock in orbit of the moon with Earth in the background, which, you know, kind of makes sense as well. And a uh, non-standard registry of NC7011S. Here we have another concept as well. So again, echoes of a 20th century satellite as per ILM's efforts to keep Star Trek work more rooted in reality than their equivalent effects in Star Wars. So you see a lot of antenna and stuff. But you see the kind of, the anatomy already there in a lot of the concept art. And uh, again, we've checked, well, we haven't checked out officially this one. So again, we uh, recently reviewed the regular one uh, as well. So again, regular one is like the flipped version of the office complex as well from the motion picture. So here we have some more concepts. So again, we've seen these before. Again, when we're looking at the issues featuring the uh, concepts of the Excelsior as well. So some fantastic artwork here. Um, storyboard, like like even though it's, like storyboards are supposed to be very quick uh, for production, but again, just I just love the styling of it. Um, and here we have another kind of concept as well. So beams of light define the relationship between the space dock interior and the concept USS Excelsior seen in this design sketch. And then we have some more concepts of the Excelsior in here as well. Very very cool. So then we have some uh, practical study models as well. So Bill George um, was working on these as well. So you can kind of get a sense of scale throughout. A little bit more of a busier mushroom top than what we got. And then you have the illumination as well. So again, you can kind of see the the ring lights or the fluorescent. I wouldn't know what those type of lights are. I, I, would, say, I would assume they are fluorescent. They kind of do look like the tubes. Very cool though. Getting a glimpse behind the curtain. So again, we have the interior model as well. So again, a lot of this was actually practical when you can see how big um, some of the sets were before like computer uh, CGI really took into effect as well. So you can kind of see the dock and ports there where you have the Excelsior and the Enterprise all battered. Very cool, very cool all the same. Um, here we have some more storyboards as well. So we have that iconic scene where uh, they literally hijack um, the Enterprise and the Excelsior sent off with its uh, experimental transwarp drive and all that. And uh, yeah, thanks to Scotty. Uh, do you know what? It's great about these magazines. Kind of make you want to go back and uh, watch some of the old movies because they are classic and they and they've aged so so well. And again, Grace Lee Whitney over here as well. So, Yeoman Janice Rand. Screen credit, woman in cafeteria. Not cool. Not cool. Great to see her on screen though, but not cool on the credit front. Um, so, that's probably pretty much it from what I can see in the magazine. Um, and again, we have some more concert art there. I don't think I've ever seen those ones before actually. So, that's interesting. And for those, I'm sure you know this at now, but if you actually go back and dust off your digital copy or your VHS or DVD or Blu-ray, whatever you're enjoying these movies on, if you do a still frame there, right in the back, you can actually see the unused Enterprise design visible uh, in Star Trek Three as well. So again, it is canon. It is there. And on that bombshell, we're going to close out with the back graphic and carry on with the review. So folks, I'm very curious to know what you think of uh, Earth Space Dock. Did you get it the first time around? Did you snag it when I mentioned it on YouTube a while back that it was back in stock? And uh, what are your thoughts on this design? What Eagle Moss Hero Collector have done? Um, is it a win? Is it a miss? And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, overall, I think I'm, I'm very happy with it. And um, you know, look forward to hearing what your thoughts are. Um, I suppose to wrap up, 
I want to thank you all for taking the time of your day to stop by and check out the video. I want to thank uh, the folks over at uh, Eagle Moss Hero Collector as well. And um, massive thanks to everyone that's supporting the channel on Patreon. The links are in the doobly-doo for all my social media down below for Instagram and Twitter and as well as that for uh, Patreon and more. So come join in the conversation and uh, join the join the fleet, so to speak. And uh, if you want to pick up some Irish Trekkie swag or some general sci-fi cool swag, do check out the merch store. Again, details are all in the description box below, along with further information on the Star Trek collection as well. If you want to support Hero Collector Eagle Moss, there's an unaffiliated link down there for you folks as well. Trying to make things a little bit easier for you. <laughs> so, as always, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you liked what I did today, why not hit that like button and maybe share it with someone in your life that uh, may be of interest. And uh, listen, as always, uh, thanks for taking the time of your day. And listen, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane. And I will see you folks in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.